Oh my God, you guys, I'm down to the last few pieces. Are you ready? Oh wait. Oh wait. Hi everybody. So we have made it. It is finally the day, the day that I'm tackling the 5,000 piece gradient puzzle. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It is a gradient puzzle, it's 5,000 pieces. It's made by Lamington Drive, which is the same company that made the original 1,000 piece gradient puzzle, which I've talked about on here. They also made this gradient sphere, which I just did the other week. So I've actually had this puzzle for like three years now. I bought it in September of 2017, which is when they first released it. I like pre-ordered it. I got one of the very first copies. So what that means is that it doesn't actually look like this anymore. I looked on their website and they are currently on their fourth edition and I'm pretty sure this was the first edition. So the box looks a little different now. And I think they might have also changed the size of the puzzle. I'm not entirely sure about that. So I checked online and yes, they have completely changed the size of this puzzle. You can see the difference between the old version and the new version in these promo shots that they've released over the years. And obviously I have the old version. The version that I have is not in stock anymore. Um, maybe you could get it secondhand, but I don't really know how or where. <laughs> but they do sell the newer version on their website when it's in stock. So so I'm gonna put all the info for how to get it right down below. So here's the game plan. The thing with gradient puzzles is that everybody thinks they're gonna be so difficult. They are actually the easiest puzzles I've ever done because you literally just pick a color and then work your way out. And when you finish one color, that's the only place that that color is on the puzzle. So the plan today is that I'm going to show you the close-ups of all the pieces and I'm going to sort all of the pieces into the rainbow, which I anticipate taking a couple hours because it is 5,000 pieces. Then I'm gonna take a break and then tomorrow I'm going to attempt to do the entire thing in one day and we'll see how that goes. I might fail completely. We're just gonna find out. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's take a look at these pieces. <laughs> so here is the box. You can see it is super simple with just 5,000 in the corner and then the piece outlines on the front. Here is the size difference between this box and the thousand colors box. This one measures 17 by 14 and a half inches and the sides are three inches tall. The sides are also super simple. They really don't tell you a lot about the puzzle, not even the finished size or a full image of what the final gradient looks like. It matches their other boxes, but I do wish there was a little more information. But anyway, let's open her up and Oh my God, so many pieces. I can literally bury my hands in all the pieces. The pieces are very similar to the 1000 colors puzzle pieces. So you can watch my review about that puzzle and it mostly all also applies here. The thousand piece pieces are slightly bigger on average than the 5000 piece pieces but they're made from the same type of cardboard. They're both very, very glossy. And now I'm going to take this box away from here because can you even imagine if I accidentally spilled it and all of the pieces mixed together? So when it came time to start the sorting, I pulled up the gradient image on my phone so that I could put the colors in the right order since they never show the full gradient on the box. And then I just started sorting by color. This isn't the most fun part of doing a puzzle, but it is so necessary in puzzles like these where the color is basically all you have to go on. So now let's check in with what I was feeling while I was doing the sorting. So I've been sorting for about 40 minutes. You can see where I am down there. Uh, I feel like I'm about maybe a third of the way through. 
I definitely did not realize how long this was going to take. I'm listening to an episode of My Favorite Murder, so I'm hoping I can get it done before that finishes, but like, my back is already hurting. This is so much sorting. Usually sorting a thousand piece puzzle will take maybe a half hour. I'm 40 minutes in and I still have all of those pieces left. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I just finished that episode of My Favorite Murder. Let me show you my progress. So here we are. I'm probably two thirds of the way through. I would estimate maybe another 40 minutes until I'm done. My back is definitely hurting. I think that's gonna be a theme throughout this entire video because I'm 29 and I'm not 16 anymore. Can I just tell you how happy I am that I did not do this on the floor, that I did it on the table because I would be in so much pain otherwise. Well, that took about three hours, but I finished all of the sorting. So I'm done for the day. I need to give my back a break. Um, I'm gonna get back to this tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so the sorting took three hours and Honestly, I wish I had spent a little more time on it since the more you can sort out the different colors, the easier the puzzle is to put together. But I will say, even though it was a lot of pieces, it was definitely less intimidating than when I did the changing colors puzzle because at least I could see everything that I was doing and I had a game plan to move forward. All right, it is the next day. It is finally time to put this thing together. Oh, I'm so nervous. Look at all of that. <laughs> I'm still hoping to do it all in one day. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I also think it's bigger than my table, so I might have to overlap parts of it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but it is 9 a.m. now and I've cleared the entire day, so let's do this. <laughs> So it is about 10.30, I've been at it for an hour and a half, and here is the progress that I've made. Here's my main problem. I am all about spreading out all of the pieces so that I can see what I'm working with, but there are just so many pieces and my table is not nearly big enough, so I have to think about what to do there. I don't know. I knew that I was gonna have to overlap some sections, but even just like finding the pieces that I need has been a challenge. So the reason why I was so nervous going into it and why it took me three years to do is because since the puzzle is so much bigger, the color separation between each piece is much smaller. So whereas with the thousand piece puzzle, you can see pretty clearly each separate color, these colors are very, very similar to each other because it's the same gradient, but blown up five times. Another difference is that the thousand piece puzzles whole gimmick is that each piece is a solid different color, but I guess that's not possible to do on a 5,000 piece puzzle because this one is just a printed gradient. So each piece is a tiny portion of the gradient. However, the gradient is really only noticeable on the really light pieces. So it's not obvious on most of the pieces which side is slightly lighter or slightly darker because it's so subtle. Okay, so it is just after noon. I've been working all morning and I'll show you my progress. I have started putting the pieces onto little pieces of poster board just because there was literally no room on the table and the pieces were stacked so high and I couldn't even see what I was working with. Also, I finally reached one of the edges, which is nice. I decided to just work my way out and I don't really know how big it's gonna be, but I reached an edge, so I'm working on that corner. So I've made it to the edge of the table and I'm not quite at the edge of the puzzle. So the whole thing definitely has to get moved over, but I have all these pieces over here. I mean, it looks so nice on camera, but having all the pieces on the table at the same time, maybe was not the best idea. Also, do you know what this reminds me of? Are those arcade games where the coins get pushed out and however many get pushed out is how many you get to keep. These pieces have been falling on the floor nonstop, so I do not recommend this strategy. All right, it is 4 p.m. I'm officially calling it for the day. That was a good like six hours of puzzling. 
but I think I definitely got at least halfway through. So hopefully I'll be able to finish it in one more day. I think as I get closer to the end, it'll get easier just like with any puzzle. Right now I still have another huge stack of pieces here on the end of all the purples and blues and teals. So I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. So bringing out these poster boards definitely helped me organize the pieces since I could layer them on top of finished parts of the puzzle, but I do wish I had been a little more organized when initially sorting the pieces. You have to keep in mind that I'm doing this for the camera, so I think putting them all in one big pile definitely looks beautiful but it was maybe not the most practical, especially since my table isn't big enough for the entire puzzle. What I should have done was sort the pieces by color into different trays so that they could be moved on and off the puzzle easily and the different colors weren't all getting mixed up together. For example, when I moved the darker pieces off of the table and into a box, all of the sorting that I did initially just all got mixed up anyway. So I really should have just put the pieces into boxes or trays from the start. All right, it is a brand new day. Time to get back to work on the puzzle. I actually took yesterday off because I do other things besides jigsaw puzzles and also my back has really been feeling it so I just needed to take a break but I'm ready to get back to work. It's just about noon now. I'm getting started a bit later than I did last time so I'm gonna work on it all afternoon. My goal is to get all of the light colored pieces done and then just work as far down as I can in this blue and teal section. So let's get started. <laughs> so it's about 2 p.m. Um, I'm definitely, I feel like getting to the harder parts of this puzzle. I feel like the middle like pink section was the easiest and now that I'm at the very light sections and getting into the greens, which are on both sides of the puzzle, it's getting more difficult. I don't even want to think about the dark section, like they're really dark colors at the bottom. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm not even going to attempt it today. I was hoping I might finish it in two days. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be at least three. Uh, this is definitely taking longer than I thought because there are just so many pieces. <laughs> So on the second day, I don't know how much you can tell from the time lapse, but I kept trying to work on these lighter pink colors and then get frustrated and move to a different section. That's because these pieces aren't the most unique puzzle pieces. There were a lot of times where I thought a piece fit, but it was actually in the wrong spot and the color differences are so subtle that I didn't always catch it. And it was frustrating, so I'd be like, I have all of the pieces of this color, why are none of them fitting in the spots I have left? So I'd have to get really close to the pieces and squint at them and try to figure out which ones were wrong. And once I pulled out the wrong pieces, the right ones would usually fit right in without a problem. But it's frustrating working on a puzzle and not being able to trust that any of the pieces are definitely right until you have the entire section finished. It meant that I could only add pieces to the corners and not just add pieces where only one side would connect because it would probably be wrong even if the piece seemed to fit. However, they do say on their website that they changed the way the pieces are cut, so this might not be an issue with the current version of the puzzle, but it's definitely an issue with the one that I have. So it is about 3.30. I've been working on it for a couple hours now. I am definitely feeling it. I am sweaty, I'm sore, my whole body hurts. I'm just at the point where I feel like there's no end. Like there are just so many pieces and I just keep putting them in and I, I don't know. Also, I had a dream the other night about this puzzle. Like it has really gotten into my brain. I kind of can't wait to be done with it. <laughs> so it is 4 p.m. Here's where I'm leaving it for the day. You can see that I've reached almost all of the edges on all of the sides. So tomorrow I'm gonna try to fill in this blue section and then I'm gonna have to start layering it up so that I can 
you know, <laughs> actually finish the puzzle. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, why didn't I just look online to find the size of the puzzle? Well, the size that's on the official website is the new size and not the old size, and the size never appears on the box, and I wasn't sure whether I should trust third-party websites. Also, I figured it's a gradient, I'll reach the end when I reach the end, but it definitely led to some feelings of hopelessness in the middle, where it felt like the puzzle just went on and on forever. And I didn't do the edge first, because the edge is actually the hardest part of the puzzle, since the light and dark colors are so similar that in the middle, it's actually easier to see the color differences. All right, everybody, it is day three of the 5,000 piece puzzle. I'm hoping that maybe I can finish it today. We've seen how that's gone in the past though, so let's take a look at what the plan is. So last night after I finished filming, I actually went back in and I finished the edge so that I could see how much more there was to go. And here's the rest of the edge on this side. So since there are 15 pieces here that need to fit on this side of the puzzle, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this whole section, 15 pieces worth, attach it to the end of here, have it layered on top, and then I'll basically have two pieces of the puzzle to be working on. Uh, of course, I still have more at the bottom with all of these dark pieces to finish up, but we're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it. So it definitely got easier once I overlapped the two sections and could see exactly how much more there was to go. One of the reasons I put off doing it for so long is because I didn't know what surface I'd have besides the floor that would be big enough for it, and I just cannot sit on the floor doing a puzzle for hours on end anymore. But overlapping the sections on the table worked fine, so I'm glad I did it on the table and not on the floor. But one of the reasons why my back still hurts so much is because the pieces are so shiny that I'd have to be standing, but kind of hunched over, both to be able to reach the pieces in the middle of the table and also to see the colors without glare. So I do wish that the pieces weren't as shiny, but I think they fixed this in the new version of the puzzle. So with everything I'm saying, remember that this is the older version of the puzzle. Anyway, you definitely do need excellent light to be able to do this puzzle. I worked on it on sunny days using daylight and I just don't think I would have been able to do it in any other light conditions because the differences between the colors are so subtle. So you might be wondering, how do you even know where the pieces go if the pieces are so similar to each other? It helps to have an understanding of color theory so that you can see a piece that you think is similar to where you're working, and then when you see that piece next to the other pieces, you can move it right or left or up or down, depending on if the hue or the brightness isn't quite right. One thing my roommate kept saying to me as I was working on this is he would be like, but is this fun? <laughs> and there were definitely times when it was frustrating and not fun, but I love matching colors and putting colors in order, and obviously I love jigsaw puzzles, so I personally did find it quite fun to piece together this gradient. So there were definitely some colors that were easier to see the differences in than others. I think the yellow section was probably the easiest, uh, the teal section was really difficult. It actually reminded me a lot of the area wear teal gradient puzzle, but the hardest part is still to come. It is the darkest colors on the bottom, so we'll get there in a minute. All right, it is just after four o'clock, so that is about seven hours that I've spent on this today. Uh, I'm not quite done, but I got to where I wanted to besides finishing it, which I clearly have not done. So you can see that all of the light and the middle colors are pretty much done. Uh, this edge connects to that edge over there. And then all of these dark blues and purples are pretty dark, even though they're more in the center of the puzzle. So those are all down here in this box. So I have 
that big box of pieces and then a few pieces here and a few there and a few underneath and that'll be done. <laughs> All right, everybody, I know that every morning I have been saying that today's the day that I'm gonna finish the puzzle, but today is actually the day that I'm gonna finish the puzzle. <laughs> it is 9 a.m. on day four. It is a Saturday morning. Let me show you what I still have to do. So I spend all day working on this thing, and then every night I'm still drawn back to it. So last night I separated out all of the bottom edge pieces and I put together the rest of the side edge pieces, which connect right here. So I have six more rows of pieces to put together at the bottom. So I think that's definitely doable for one day. So I'm gonna get started and then I'm gonna move it all to the floor and put it all together. And I can't wait to see it all in one piece. So it's about 10.30 and you can see that I finished most of this purple and blue section in here, is underneath there. And what I'm doing now is finally moving on to these very last couple rows. So this top row is actually what I already put together at the bottom of this main section. That way I just have that to work off of since that's already together. So I'm just gonna continue along that way all the way across. So it is just after three o'clock and you can see all that I have left is this little section and that section up there but I feel like I can't even see the differences in color anymore because so I've just been staring at this for way too long. So I separated them out by shape and hopefully I can just finish up this last little bit. So I thought the puzzle would only get easier the further along I got, but these darker colors were the hardest part of the puzzle. Honestly, this section almost broke me because it was just so hard to see any color differences and I kept having pieces in the wrong spot. I had managed to go the entire puzzle without resorting to separating the pieces by shape, but at the very end, I just had to because I wasn't making any progress otherwise. But in the end, I did it. I finished the puzzle. Well, almost. Roll that clip. Oh my God, you guys, I'm down to the last few pieces. I can't believe it. Here we go, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh wait, oh wait. So 5,000 pieces later, <laughs> I swear I did not plan this. I did not know this was gonna happen. I seem to be missing a piece. <laughs> Where could it be? Oh my God, how did this happen? The puzzle is done. I did all 5,000 pieces. I don't know where that piece ended up. I need to search the floor. <laughs> oh, puzzle piece, where could you be? It's not in either of the boxes that I was using. The problem is that my floors are gray and the, bottom, the back of the pieces is also gray, so it kind of blends in. <laughs> oh my God, I'm literally lying on the floor right now, but I found it. This time, here we go. Nope, that's upside down. Oh my God, I did it. Oh my God. So it is just about 4 p.m., which means that today was another seven hour day. And <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it's done. So the plan tomorrow is to transfer it onto the floor. I have some ideas of how to do that like breaking it up onto foam core, but I cannot do anything else today. My back is so sore, everything hurts. I'm, I'm done, I can't. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. So when I was posting my progress photos on Instagram, a ton of you asked me how I was going to move the puzzle from the table onto the floor. And here's how I did it. I grabbed a bunch of pieces of foam core and I carefully slid each piece under the puzzle, breaking the puzzle apart into sections so that I could carry each section onto the floor. The puzzle isn't super tightly held together, but it's enough that I could lift it up and slide the foam core underneath without the whole thing crumbling. So once I had all of them on the floor, I just slid each section off of the foam core and pieced the whole thing together. And that is it. 
I cannot believe that it is done. So the final measurements for this version of this puzzle are seven feet, four inches long by two feet and seven inches tall. I'm actually really glad that I did get this original version of the puzzle because I like it better than the newer, more square design. But, and you might've noticed this as I was going, there is one small flaw on the puzzle. You can see here where there is a slightly different type of piece where the sections connect. The colors aren't a perfect gradient over this vertical line. The two halves were clearly printed and manufactured separately, so you can clearly see where the divide is. Plus, I ended up flipping it over for reasons I'll explain in another video, and you can see that the cardboard is completely different between the two sections. There are more of those different pieces at a quarter of the way across and three quarters of the way across. So they clearly had to make this puzzle in four sections. And if you look at the edge, the edge also doesn't quite line up perfectly. I assume those are probably the issues that they solved in the newer versions of this puzzle. So if you have one of those, I'd love to know if those issues are still there. So just for fun, I also put together the thousand piece puzzle so we could get a little size comparison. And I honestly, don't know what I was thinking, thinking that I could do this whole puzzle in one day. It is just so much bigger, five times as many pieces. I still maintain that gradient puzzles are easier than other puzzles because this is easily the fastest I've ever done a 5,000 piece puzzle. But since it is 5,000 pieces, I wouldn't say it is objectively an easy puzzle. I will say I did enjoy it, but I think it would have been much more enjoyable if I wasn't trying to do it really fast for the camera. If I had the space in my apartment to leave this out for weeks on end, I think it would be a really fun project just to work on for an hour or two a day and it would be easy for families or groups to work on it since you can each pick a color and then work your way out. As frustrating as it could be at times, overall I loved this puzzle and I'm obsessed with how it looks now that it's finished. So here it is, my final times for how long I actually spent working on it. This was definitely a puzzle adventure. Well, I finished it. <laughs> I kind of feel like the last week just didn't even happen because I basically did nothing besides work on this puzzle. So if you want to get it for yourself, the links will be right down below. As I said, you can't get this exact version anymore, but the newer version looks beautiful as well. Who thinks that I should buy the newer version and like do it again? Do I hate myself that much? <laughs> so one of the questions that I was asked the most while I was working on it and posting the photos on Instagram is, what are you gonna do with it now that it's done? And I actually think I am going to hang it up. I never hang my puzzles. I just do too many puzzles for that to be worth it. But this one is so beautiful. I think it'll look so nice on the wall. But that is a project for another day. I think that I have kept you here for far long enough. So stay tuned for a follow-up video about how I go about hanging this and like if it even works the way that I'm picturing. <laughs> so let me know in a comment, have you ever done a puzzle that is is this big? Is it something that you would want to tackle? Do you think you would do the gradient puzzle or would you do a different like 5,000 piece puzzle? Please subscribe if you want to see more puzzle videos from me and follow me on Instagram at Karen Puzzles. I'm constantly posting new puzzle photos and I took so many pictures of this puzzle. And your code word if you watch this entire saga of a video is going to be color wheel. So you saw it in a comment and then I'll know that you watched the entire thing and that you're my favorite puzzler. So stay safe and happy puzzling. Bye.